put some glue on top of it. Get my other skin. And because of that extra glue I put on the carbon fiber, when I go to flip it over, it stays in place, which is another reason for putting that extra glue on there. Now with it lined up, put my porous release film over it. Take the top shut. Put my pen in. Now I'll put my pins in down the line. See how I kind of tried to lift up. Okay, now Everything's pinned together. It's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it in paper towels that I use as breather. To make sure the vacuum is fully distributed in the vacuum bag. Now I reuse these even though they're cheap paper towels. As many wings as I do. Even the price of the paper towels adds up. So here we have the sheeted wing and the shucks ready to go into the vacuum bag. Now I need to get it into the bag. So I'll slip it into the tube. And 
reach in here and grab my breather strip. Make sure it's over the vacuum line. bag over and at this particular level of vacuum one fold over is fine. Just make sure you got a good seal. bag is sealed. I use pieces of three quarter inch MDF that are nice and flat. And this piece of glass is a half inch piece of glass. And it's perfectly flat on this table. I use full gallons of paint to weight the core down. Check to make sure the valve's open. vacuum pump. Make sure the bag is situated. It'll take it a couple minutes. This is an easy vac pump. I use it to actually do two wings at a time. I have a T connector on it. But one half is closed off. It's not even connected to the other bag right now. Nice thing about having those pins in there is that you don't have to worry about anything shifting while it's pulling that vacuum down. Nothing's going to move. With the weight on it, simple matter of letting it pull the vacuum. Well, it's gradually working its way up to a full vacuum. With this pump, it'll take it a few more minutes. But that wing is sheeted, and in 18 to 24 hours, I'll be ready to take it out.